So let me start with the explaining you the problem and then you okay. can ask any questions if you have seems fair okay so as you can see on the screen there is an input and it is can you see the screen there is a input of an array of numbers yes i can see an input array yeah as well as an output as well yeah so okay it is a odd number array so 5 7 9 11 15 17 yes. so what you have to output is the missing odd number so i just want one missing odd number whichever is the first if there are more than one i don't care okay okay so, so uh, this is an array of numbers yeah uh, and we have to find the missing missing odd number okay? and yeah, it can yeah. be one as well as multiple yeah it can be multiple i just want the first missing number okay, just first first missing number okay yeah so in so, this in this array like 5 7 9 11 everything is there then 13 is not there so output yes, is 13 is not yeah so, so if it ranges from 5 to 17 yeah no this is one input there can be other inputs you can think of any kind of odd numbers positive odd numbers not negative okay and uh, other thing is you can assume this array to be sorted okay so it will so always be in six that we have a sorted odd integer array yeah sorted odd integer array and you have to find the first missing number Okay. If it is sorted, then Then, as the the so array sorted, one thing that is coming to mind is that uh, we can apply binary search over here and uh, actually segregate our searching space in here. So, and check uh, check for the if we have distributed the segregated parts. it will be easy for us to find the number yeah even i think um, you can even try for the simple i think simplest one be the linear search i think yeah yeah simplest one will be the linear search but so if you want to directly try, yeah yeah if you want to directly try lean, uh, binary then also fine otherwise you can do linear and then binary yeah uh, i would start with linear okay uh it is a for loop as uh, this will loop onto the input array okay so this for loop will iterate onto the input array one by one and uh, 
actually sees uh, the range like from where to where and if you checks like uh, the number present at that position it is not there then we can return that index yeah to which place it should be there so i am just trying to iterate over that okay current element it's 5 uh, so it is odd array then in, uh, we have consecutive elements these are consecutively aligned so mm -hmm. we have 5 then we have 7 then we have 9 then we have 11 next next should be 13 and here it is missing and uh, again it will be 15 and again it will be 17 so it is perfectly aligned like how an odd number should range yeah. should be so if we check like uh, uh, for the next element uh, array the array and if the next element is not is not there so we can say that uh, this will be the uh, element which is missing so we have to find here that what number would be the consecutive next number following number yeah how you will find the next what is the formula like uh, we uh, this we will be adding two yeah like whatever the correct number is we would be adding two okay yeah. and uh, we as we are looping so here from uh, the array length so if we add two and get this number and check the next consecutive number if it is that number only then we can say that uh, it is there as it is not then we can say this number is not provided and we can return that yeah sure try this okay
the it didn't showcase the right answer over there. I think some logic is missing. No, actually, console. If you see, there are more than one output in console. You can see. If you check console, you yeah, can. It has it has given right answer. But uh, it it didn't check. Uh, it is also giving nineteen. It should it should all it only should be giving thirteen because yeah. of this because it is uh, storing the next value which is right but uh, the loop is only for till seventeenth number. Uh, I I need to check here for the condition that uh, the next is also the last element. It is greater than the uh, length of the array. Then we should be not. Actually, putting it into the console. No, actually, we just want the uh, first number. So, yeah. you, even if you don't want to check till last, it is fine. Last. Okay. If we got the first, we immediately return. Yeah. We don't do for the others. Okay, okay, I got it. I think now it is giving right result. It is outputting 30. Okay. Because uh, because if we have stored the number which will be coming next uh, by adding it to 2 and uh, we are checking for the first missing number. Mm -hmm. So we are we are checking here that if the next number is the next number that we have calculated. So we will be not outputting it. We will continue and in else we are just outputting the next if it is uh, not satisfying our condition and just break the loop because we want only the first element that is missing okay now can you optimize with if else like uh, can you do it uh, do you think both if and else are required or only one if can do can you think of that way uh, so there are uh, there is a if else statement here. So you want me to optimize it or remove this if else? Uh, optimize in the sense like uh, if else is there, if you can just do it with only one if without using else or uh, okay. just shortening your solution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've removed else and put all the else things into the if if block only. And for the next uh, for other computations for the right numbers you know, following the mm. current number, it will just not check for that and just check only for the missing number. Yeah, it's fine. So the code has been reduced by I think uh, four lines. 
or not for two lines yeah more than line of codes i think uh, in, because i think only break is required continue would have just been extra like we don't want continue so that is fine now just an additional question to this 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 is a general formula now what we can do if suppose in the input i have an array and mm -hmm. the array i am modifying it like um, like 579 mm -hmm. if the array would have been like 369 12 369 12 means a multiple of 3 okay. multiples of 3 yeah or i can say just like constant n this will be the multiplier okay okay now so how so the you... array would have multiples of 3 yeah or any like multiple of three, multiple of four, multiple of n. Ha. Huh. Means okay. AP arithmetic progression here. Yeah? Okay. You know AP like uh, same kind of sum. So okay. now if I have to ask you for the missing number, the first missing number, how will you change your algorithm for this? Where you will change? n is the multiplier mm -hmm. i will add i think n here yeah yeah so right now you can make n as 2 and run this case. I think array should also be need to modify because it will not give the right. Feature. Yeah, for now you can just change n, n to 2. Okay. Because you solved it for 2. So maybe just change, not change array and check if n to it works. Yeah, I think now it's a general solution for any AP. If you do, you want to try binary search for this? Yes, I can try. 